Hello students. Welcome back to Careers 3. As of reports, 13 lakh candidates have already registered for the JE Main 2025 January session exam. So now 13 lakh candidates are competing for a few thousand seats at IITs, NITs, IIITs and GFTI. Now with such a huge competition level, securing a seat into your preferred IIT, NIT into a favorite course becomes very difficult. So we at Careers 360 have compiled together some engineering entrance exams for you to decide your next option. Now these engineering entrance exams include uh, AEEE for Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetham, Viti for Bellor Institute of Technology, SRMJ for SRM IST. We have two more upcoming videos in this series. One of them is BITSAT for uh, admission to BITS Pilani and uh, MET for admission to Manipal University. If you are someone who has already appeared for any J main mock test and have a percentile below 95 then this video is extremely crucial for you so that you can see other engineering entrance exams through which you can get admission to top institutes. And if you are someone who has a percentile below 99, then also you should must watch this video to know uh, other courses or other institutes where you can find the right course for yourself. Speaking of SRM Institute of Science and Technology, now it has uh, campuses in Chennai, one of them is Kattan Kulutar, Ramapuram, Vadapalini, there is one in Tiruchirappalli, Chengalpattu, Delhi NCR has two campuses, one in Sonipat, the other in Ghaziabad, and there is one campus in SRM AP. So now I would like to highlight the SRM ranking and accreditations. So as per NRF engineering ranking, NRF is the ranking body in India, right? So uh, under the engineering ranking, it has ranked 13th. The overall category ranking for SRM IST is 21. And under the university category, the institute ranks at 12th. Apart from the NRF ranking, Careers 360 also ranks institutes based on several factors like ROI, affordability, facilities, etc. And we at Careers 360 rank SRM IST with 5 A's, making it one of the top choices for engineering courses. You can also see that the QS world ranking is between 1001 to 1200. Now this QS ranking is for all the institutions across the world. It also has an NEAC grading of A++, right? Now I want to give a little description about the degree and courses at SRM IST. So uh, there are more than 550 degrees and the UG degree count is more than 250. Similarly, the PG degrees offered at the institute are more than 230. The focus of this video is specifically BE, BTEC, right? So you can see that there are more than 110 degree options for you. So you can definitely find a course of your liking here. So now I want to provide some overview about the campuses. So uh, this is the main campus, SRM Chennai Kattan Kulutar campus, right? It was established in 2002. It's a deemed private university, which covers more than 250 acres of campus size, right? Uh, you can see the total student count here is uh, 20,229 students. And the gender diversity ratio here is very good with 65 is to 35 ratio okay and you can also see that 415 students from outside the country want to pursue engineering here they're already enrolled in the university so this is obviously one of the best choices for uh, students outside as well moving on to the next campus we have uh, srm delhi ncr campus as i've said before delhi ncr includes two one in sonipat the other in Ghaziabad. so this is uh, sonipat campus this was established in uh, 2013. It's a state private university, right? Uh, the campus size is 47 acres. Again, you can see the gender diversity here is 20s to uh, 80s to 20 for male is to female. And um, we have 831 students from outside the state. The next campus is SRM Ramapuram. It was established in 1985. It's a constituent college with five acres of campus size. SRM Vadapalani. This is also a constituent college with five acres of campus site. SRM Tiruchirappalli, this was established in 2002. It's again a constituent college which has a campus size of 250 acres. SRM Chengalpattu, it's a state private university which has a campus size of 400 acres, right? SRM AP, it is again a state private university with a campus size of 100 plus acres. We have the NRF reports here. Now, what is the significance of NIRF reports? Firstly, NIRF stands for National Institution Ranking Framework, which works under the Ministry of Education, Government of India. Okay, 
So we have the data on the sanctioned and approved intakes, the total strength of uh, the students there and the placement and higher studies data. Let me just explain this a little bit. Okay. So the UG four year program intake here, which is approved by the government is 5040 students for the last year, right? And uh, the actual strength of the students at the university all four years combined is 20,229 as we've explained before, right? Again, you can see that the male count here is 13,148 and the female students are what? 7,081, right? Now, uh, if I speak of placement and higher study details, this is probably one of the most significant details here. So, uh, if I speak of the latest year, uh, we had the number of students intake as 5,490 students. The number of students who were admitted are what, 4,377. Out of this, the number of placed students is what, 4,031, with the median salary being 6,10,000. Now, all this data that you see here, SRM Chennai placements, this is for the main campus. This has been sourced from NIRF, making it extremely authentic, right? Now, uh, what we have here is for the uh, previous academic uh, session, 22 to 23. The number of admitted students, like we've seen in NIRF report, is 4,377. Out of this, uh, the graduated students count is 4,195. And how many students are placed out of this is 4,031 students. The placement percentage here is 97.91%. Now, I would like to highlight how the placement percentage has been consistent throughout the years. We had 96.34% uh, in the year 20 to 21. Then we had 95.68 percentage placement uh, at uh, 21, 22. And for 22 to 23, the placement percentage is at 97.91%, which is a very good placement percentage for an institute that is uh, placing almost 4,031, right? The median salary has also drastically increased from being 4 lakhs to 4 lakh 49,000 to finally at 6 lakh 10,000. This is the median salary. So obviously you can have a higher salary packages of around 20 lakhs or so, right? So now I have the data on SRM application and seats. The total applications received for all programs at the university are what 85,199. Out of this, specifically for BTEC four-year programs, the applications received is 59,547. And the BTEC seat intake stands at 9,654. Now, uh, the source of all this data is AQAR reports, which is again, one of the government agencies, right? You can see the percentage here is six is to one. So you have uh, a better chance of getting admission into SRM IST as compared to IITs or NITs and then you can definitely choose a course of your liking with the more than 110 plus courses here. So uh, the AQAR reports, they provide uh, data on uh, number of sanctioned seats, the number of applications received and the number of students admitted. So we have the data for all the programs but again the focus of this video is BEB Tech. So we've already highlighted how the total admitted count is, right? Moving on, now we have discussed the placement opportunities at SRM IST. So now let's discuss what uh, the alumni of SRM IST are doing, where they work at, where they live, what are the job roles that they've taken up. For this, we have referred to LinkedIn. So you can see that um, there are 1,93,856 alumni on LinkedIn for SRM IST, right? So all the data that you will see in the following slides has been sourced from LinkedIn. Here we have compiled the top companies that have uh, been at the placement season for SRM, right? We have the data on the people who have worked at the company, on the currently employed alumni and the ones who have previously worked at the company, right? So TCS has employed 8.5 thousand people from SRM, out of which 2.6 thousand work are still working in the company and 5.9k have previously worked at the company. Similarly at Cognizant, 6.5 thousand people have been uh, working at the company. So like they've worked and within this you can see 1.6k are currently working and 4.9k have previously worked. 
Again, if I speak of Amazon, which is a trillion dollar market cap company, 2.5k people have worked at the company who are SRM uh, alumni, right? Out of which 905 are currently working in the company. Similarly, for Deloitte, you can see that uh, 2.2k have been uh, work, have worked at the company and out of which 1.1k are still working at the company, right? Moving on, we have data for uh, other companies like EY. It is one of the top consulting companies, right? Here you can see that 1.7 thousand people have worked at the company out of which 706 are currently working there, right? And 1K have previously worked at the company. Microsoft, this is again a trillion dollar company. This has uh, 603 people who have worked at the company out of which 216 are currently working in the company and 387 have worked in the past. Zoho, which is again uh, a core company, has employed 548 people out of which 264 are currently working there, right? Now we have the data for the top trillion dollar companies, right? These include Google, Apple and Meta. Now what is special about these uh, companies is that the turnover ratio here is very less. Obviously, they also recruit on a much smaller level. And I would also like to highlight that we're not saying that these companies have gone to the university for placements, but we're definitely saying that uh, these number of uh, people who've been working at the company have studied at SRMIST. They might have pursued higher education uh, ahead or so, but they are part of SRM alumni as per LinkedIn data, right? So at Google, 285 people have worked at the company, out of which 116 are currently working. Only 169 people have been previously employed here. For Apple, again, 162 people have worked at the company and 90 people are currently working there. So um, previously employed alumni include 72. So you can see that uh, a lot of people choose to still work at these companies because obviously they have much uh, better salary packages and much more facilities, right? At Meta also, you have 64 people who have worked at the company and 33 are still working there. McKenzie is again a consulting company. So you can see that 118 people have worked at the company and 45 are currently working there, while 73 people have been previously employed there. So now we know where they work but we have data on where they live. So out of the total count of uh, 1 lakh uh, 94,000 alumni of SRM IST, around 86.79% live in India, while 5.81% live in the United States. Out of this also, you can see that 52.41% live in Tamil Nadu. And out of this, 45.83% are living in Chennai. So uh, further, 8.29% lives in Karnataka and 8.18% uh, lives in Bangalore, which is the IT hub of the country, right? So now we know where they live, but let's look uh, at the roles that they have, right? So you can see that 14.63% of the alumni are engineers. 7.21% of the alumni work under information technology roles. 5.58% work under operations. For research also, we have a count of 2.93%. So now we know where they live, what roles they take up. Let's have a look at the fields of study. So out of the uh, 1,94,000 alumni on LinkedIn, we find that 41,766 uh, come from computer science field of study. Then for computational science, we have 38,522 students. You can see that uh, from mechanical engineering also, there's a count of 15,879. For computer engineering, the number of students is at 11,287. And for information technology, the count is at 9,168. So now we understand that, uh, of course, SRM IST should be one of your top preferences based on the placement, based on the ranking and accreditations, right? Now let's have a look at how you can get admissions into the institute. So, uh, the university has its own entrance exam, SRMJ. Now, if you're someone who has appeared for JE main mock test, and you know that uh, probably you have a slim chance of getting into top institutes, then this should be on your list. You can obviously apply for this right now, and then wait until you make the final decision. 
but for that you need to prepare for the exam so we have a comparison over SRMJ and JE mains to help you assist in your preparation for the, both of these exams so there's not much of a difference here both are online uh, computer based exams the duration of uh, the test differs so the mode of exam for both of these is online mode now the duration here for JE mains is 3 hours and for that of SRMJ is 2 hours 30 minutes the sections uh, for JE mains are just 3 mathematics physics and chemistry now in SRMJ you have these 3 physics maths and chemistry but additionally you have English and aptitude but don't worry the level of English and aptitude is that of the basic right the total number of questions in JE mains is 75 questions 25 questions for each of the sections and here it is 125 again 25 questions for each of the sections right the total marks is 125 one uh, question has one mark here and here it is uh, 300 marks so there are 100 marks for each of the sections here again SRMJ just has MCQs but uh, JE means has MCQs and apart from that it has numerical uh, value answer type questions okay there are no negative marking here for SRMJ which is a good thing for you and in JE means you have a provision of negative marking additionally JE means is held twice a year but SRMJ is being conducted thrice so you have one additional attempt here to improve on your scores so this brings us to the end of this video if you are someone who has appeared for any of the JMAIN mock tests and have a percentile below 95 then probably this is the time to look at other engineering entrance exam which have greater placement opportunities for you guys. We have covered why SRM should be one of your top choices for engineering admission based on the placement, ranking and accreditations and more. Do feel free to drop a comment in the a comment section for any of your doubts and uh, please subscribe to the channel so that uh, you are updated with all the upcoming videos that we put out on our channel. Thank you.